does the church grow? There are three ways in which the church grows. We grow in Christ, we grow in love for one another, and we also grow in numbers. We don't neglect one for the sake of the other. We grow in Christ. Ephesians 4.13 says, until we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, into a complete man or a, into a complete person, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. This is not only for pastors. This is not only for the spiritual leadership. Here it started by saying, until we all, all of us, Amen. have to grow in Jesus Christ. And it's not only to the measure of Jesus, but it says to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. We grow in love for one another. Colossians 1, 4, only the last part. For we hear of your faith in Jesus Christ and your love for all the saints. How wonderful would it be that people would hear about our local churches, how much they love one another. When I was a member at the Parkview Church of the Nazarene, from the day I stepped my feet into that church with my husband, Raul, just married, we felt that love. We moved to different places. 19 years later, we still feel their love, messages, uh, cards, birthday cards, anniversary, you name it. When we see each other, there is still such a strong love. And although it's years since I am not a member of that church because I became a pastor of a different church, we still long to see each other because of that love, that bond, and that how the church of the Lord Jesus Christ should be, loving one another. We grow in numbers. Colossians 1 verse 6, I will only read the first part and just to make a clarification, is talking about the word of truth of the gospel. Colossians chapter 1 verse 6, the word of the truth of the gospel is bearing fruit and growing all over the world, just as it has among you since the day you heard it and came to truly appreciate God's grace. Mm -hmm. 